Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will use a table and a graph to compare the changes in linear and exponential expressions as the value of x increases. Also I will recognize that as x increases a linear expression increases at a constant rate additively while an exponential function increases multiplicatively. Now let us consider three functions that is y is equal to 3x, y is equal to 3x square and y is equal to 3 raised to power x. The first function is linear. Second function is quadratic. And third function is exponential. Now consider this table. Now we will complete this table using three functions and will observe which column is growing faster. Now in this column we have linear function y is equal to 3x. Now, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 into x, that is 3 into 0, which is equal to 0. Now, when x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 3 into 1, that is 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 into 2, that is 6. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 into 3, that is 9. When x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3 into 4, that is 12. When x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3 into 5, that is 15. Now, in this column, we have quadratic function, y is equal to 3x square. Now here, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 into 0 square. That is 3 into 0 which is 0. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 into 1 square. That is equal to 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 into 2 square. That is 12. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 into 3 square. Which is equal to 27. When x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3 into 4 square, which is equal to 48. Now when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3 into 5 square, which is equal to 75. Now, in this column, we have exponential function y is equal to 3 raised to power x. Now, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 raised to power 0, that is 1. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 raised to power 1, that is 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 raised to power 2, that is 9. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 raised to power 3, that is 27. When x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3 raised to power 4, that is 81 and when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 3 raised to power 5 that is 243 so for different values of x we have completed this table now here you can see in this column that is the column of linear function the values are increasing by a difference of 3 as x increases by 1 in a pattern 3 3 plus 3 that is 6 then 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9 then 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 12 and then 3 plus 3 plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, that is 
15. So, the values are increasing in this pattern. Now, in the column of quadratic function, you can see the values are increasing at a higher rate than the values in the column of linear function. Now, in this column of linear function, you can see when x is 3, y is 9, but in this column of quadratic function, you can see when x is 3, y is 27, so the values are increasing at a higher rate. Now, in the column of exponential function, the values are increasing at a very high rate than the values in these two columns. They are following the pattern 3, then 3 into 3, that is 9, then 3 into 3 into 3, that is 27, then 3 into 3, into 3 into 3 that is 81 then 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is 243 so when x is 3 the value of given linear function is 9 but the value given by exponential function is tripled that is 27 so from these patterns, we can see that as x increases, a linear expression increases at a constant rate additively, while an exponential function increases multiplicatively. Thus, from table we can see that the values for y is equal to 3 raised to power x are increasing faster than the values for y is equal to 3x and for y is equal to 3x square. Also, we see that at x is equal to 1, the value of all three functions is same, that is 3. And at x is equal to 5, linear function gives value 15, quadratic function gives value 75, but exponential function gives a very high value 243. Thus we see that the values increasing exponentially eventually exceed the values increasing linearly or quadratically. Now let us see the difference in the graphs of the three functions. So we have the following graph showing the graphs of the three functions. Now you can see this pink straight line and this straight line is the graph of linear function y is equal to 3x now this curve is the graph of quadratic function that is this red curve is the graph of quadratic function y is equal to 3x square and this blue curve is the graph of exponential function y is equal to 3 raised to power x now this linear function shows increase in values at a constant rate and the values of y are not higher now in quadratic function there is an increase in values as compared to linear function. Now see the exponential curve is lower than or equal to the quadratic curve till x is equal to 3 but after x is equal to 3 it shows a great increase in the values of y as compared to both the curves. Thus we see that the exponential function increases multiplicatively as compared to linear 
and quadratic functions. So in this session we have learned that the values increasing exponentially eventually exceed the values increasing linearly or quadratically. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.